Hey guys, this is uh, Richard from Wipesack. Do you want a water cooler? Well, head over to bitspower.com and get your water cooling bits right now. Now! Thank you to Bitspower for sponsoring this video. This is me water cooling my graphs card. Now, I've got a couple of upgrades. One is a 360 millimeter, 40 millimeter uh, radiator. Also, bits. This is sponsored by Bits Power. Bits Power sent me over the Summit M Pro CPU block for AMD. They sent me over this to the classic cooling uh, choice. This is one for an RTX 3070, and because it supports the 3070 version of my card, I assumed it worked that way, but it doesn't. So I had to buy a new one. Now, Bits Power, I would like to say thank you so much for sponsoring it. I hope we continue to do this partnership because you guys have, you know, you've sent me stuff that I've never experienced and it's been very fulfilling for me as myself. So I have to buy a block itself. This cost £111. This was from the brand, I think it's called Bike ski or bike ski or something, it's bike ski or something like that. It's a water block that is for my GPU, which is a Pallet Gaming Pro RTX 3070. So I had a look online, there wasn't many people doing it, and I found this one. I messaged Bitspire, I said, Do you do one? They said, We're afraid we don't, so I've had to buy one. But I'd like to say to them, thank you for sending this out. It is a beautiful cooler. I've set, I've already done pictures on TikTok as well as Instagram. This is so gorgeous. It's unbelievable. That box, that picture bled does not do it justice. I will show it in the video, but I need to get this GPU done. Uh, they've also sent me 12 of their, um, their, their new, well, they're not new, but they are new fittings to me which are these these are the uh bitch power g and a half uh, g14 g14 silver shining compression fitting now i asked number 12 because i updated my cpu block so you know I needed i needed to do it so what i'm going to do first of all is i'm going to do the cpu block I'll come back while I, once I've teared down the, the GPU, then I'll show you. Boom, look at that. This is the pro version. It's an aluminium housing, as well as a back plate, but back by there on the block. Then it's got a, as you can see, it's all see-through, and it looks absolutely gorgeous. Right then, that's a CPU block, as well as the rad uh, situated. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you the uh, water blocks themselves. The one from uh, Be Bikesy or Bexky or whatever it's bloody called. Now, don't get me wrong, right? This is a very nice looking uh, water. Look at that. That looks really nice. It does. It does come with RGB. But obviously, I was upset because I couldn't use the one from Bits Power. But, well, what am I supposed to do in it? There's not a lot I can do about there, but at least I've got a water block. It is sponsored by uh, Bits Power. I purchased this myself, so, you know, it's just to replace the one that Bits Power sent me. So, it's just to make sure that it's all good. So, I've got the block, I've got the thermal pads, and this one comes with a metal back plate. Oop. Then it comes with uh, all the screws and all that mounting and all that with it. So that's that one done. So this is the block. Now it's a very nice looking block. This is a very nice block from Bike Ski or Bix or whatever they're called. Uh, this is the only one that fits my GPU, so I had to buy it. Uh, the one that uh, uh, Bits Power sent me. If I had a 38D, that was that one. I'd be using it because it looks awesome it's a premium block so yeah right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna 
strip my graphs card and then I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with it. So continue to watch. As you can see, I've stripped my card and this is a very small looking PCB. Obviously the 30 series, the you should see the size in the 3090, the piece, the actual, uh, the, well, the, the, um, the Founders Edition. They are a tiny, so, you know, Gotta clean off the thermal paste, so. article it looks really nice uh, it is rather small as you can see it did I bought the back plate because this is metal uh, it doesn't well it doesn't exactly touch the back but you know sturdy and all and it looks quite nice so uh, I've done all the thermal pads uh, I don't want to do thermal pads ever again because that was annoying very annoying uh, so yeah uh, that's gonna be this is that now for the um, the GPU. That is the uh, kind of. It, it took quite a while, so yeah. This isn't me giving you a tutorial. This is just me showing you and showing you me how to do an upgrade. So yes. Now what I will say is, make sure if you ever do water cooling, make sure you always put the screws back in the heatsink because you do not want to lose them that is one thing that i would cry about so now i've already um thingy the uh i've already um thermal pasted it uh it gives you an in and an out so i know which one to go into i don't know what to do yet if i should go from from uh CPU then straight to GPU then straight to the RAM because I'm not actually 100% sure this time I'm not going to ask Andy because I don't want to bug him so I want to figure this out by myself it's going to be a voyage of discovery but obviously if I get stuck he's always there he said that loads of times to me that I've only got to message him so I mean big thank you to him uh, obviously you know <laughs> If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have been able to walk with anything in the beginning because he helped me a lot. He gave me a lot of advice. Um, I don't know about if this will actually all fit in one 360, but it should be all right. This isn't exactly a power-hungry card, so it should be okay. But obviously, I will end up upgrading it from um, a... 360 to maybe the 360 just for the CPU and then a 240N for the GPU. I don't know, or I can just integrate it all into one. So, yeah. Um, right, the next part of this video now is going to be me showing you the finished build. So, this is Richard from Wildside. I hope you have a fun time. Let's continue. <music>
So that is the finished system. Um, I would like to thank Bitspot again for sponsoring the video. I am awfully sorry about the GPU block itself. I'm at fault, not you guys. I am sorry. I still hope you're willing to work with me next. Because I still want to review some of your products. Uh, your new fans and an AIO for instance. Um, I, w I would love to do a hard line loop one day. But I'm not going to push the boat because that's quite expensive. I have had a chat with a guy over there to see if they're willing to send me a Lee and Lee uh, dynamic case with a monoblock in it. I have had a chat with them about it. Um, it's kind of mixed. Obviously, I'm still small on YouTube. But the reaction I've had on TikTok and Instagram and Facebook has been amazing. Um, especially TikTok because I've had a lot of people on there saying that they really enjoy my videos so head over there and follow don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like and as always this is Richard from Welshie Tech I will be back with another video hope you have a fantastic day goodbye